Welcome to the CK12 Jumpstart program. We're going to begin by giving you a brief introduction to CK12 and then talk about getting started on our site. CK12's original goal was to create a comprehensive K12 STEM curricula. However, our platform can be used for all subjects and between donated and community contributed content, we have some resources outside of STEM as well. When we began developing our content, we started by focusing on middle school and high school resources. We have recently begun offering some K-5 math and science resources and are currently developing a few community college textbooks as well. We'll talk more about where CK12 gets this content as we explore the site. As you can see, our homepage, www.ck12.org, has a number of different options to get started. You could look at our interactives, such as our simulations and clicks. You could dive right into our adaptive practice and try out some questions. Or you could see who nearby is working with CK12 already. Furthermore, you could search a particular topic or go all the way down and look at a branch of math or science, such as arithmetic or earth science. Or you could even check out some of the other general concepts besides our core STEM content. To begin using CK12, you're going to want to join. CK12 doesn't charge for any of the resources we offer, but by joining, you will be able to access our interactives, customize your content, assign work, and track progress all in one place. You can find the orange join button in the top right of our homepage. If you click on that, you can choose to sign in using Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Twitter, or even by using your own email and username and password. I'm going to sign in with my Google account. The only required piece of information we ask for is whether you are a teacher or a student so that we can gear resources to you. You are also welcome to add in your state, grades, and even a photo if you wish. Now you're ready to get started. In the future, if you want to sign into your account, you can simply go to the top right sign in option and using the same credentials as before, sign back into your account. Please note that to access your account and all of your stored work, you should always log in the same way via a self-created username and password or a single sign-on option such as Google or Facebook. At the top of every page on CK12, you will see a number of icons to help you navigate your own work and CK12 site. The CK12 logo in the top left will always get you back to our homepage. From there, you can see the different icons for your dashboard, groups, library, cafe, and standards browser if you are a teacher. Your dashboard is where you'll see all of the assignments your students have completed, along with info about new comments and group discussions. Groups consist of two types, classes in which you can assign work, see student progress, and host discussions, and study groups where everyone, whether teachers or students, can share resources and collaborate. Your library is particularly important when customizing content. You can save resources CK12 has created and or ones you have made or customized. CK12's cafe includes open forums in which students and teachers can ask and answer questions and collaborate on projects. On the teacher site, you'll also see a standards browser on the homepage where you can find Common Core State Standard and Next Generation Science Standard aligned content. We'll talk more about this shortly. Don't worry about knowing what all of these icons and sections mean right away. We just want you to have an idea as you explore the site and decide you might want to check them out. In the meantime, your library is really the biggest one that you'll want to understand as we go through this Flexbook program. CK12 has over 5,000 concepts for you to use in your teaching. With this in mind, there are many different ways to get to that content based on the goal you have and what you find easiest to navigate. To help you understand your choices and decide which is best for you, we're going to explore our content in a couple of different ways. Let's start by looking at a particular topic. You could scroll down and pick a branch within math or science. Let's say you were teaching biology, for example. You could click on the biology tab 
and then you can browse all of the concepts related to biology. Let's say you wanted to teach something on the water cycle. If you scroll down into the ecology section, you could click on the water cycle concept. Here you will see a number of different ways for students to learn and resources to help you teach that topic. For the water cycle specifically, you'll see our major featured content, which is our read, a video, practice, and our PLIX, which is our interactive. If you look below at all of the CK12 content, you can see that in addition to the featured content, there are other resources such as activities, study aids, lesson plans, and even real world applications for this content. In addition to the CK12 content, you could click on the Community Contributed tab, and this would show you variations of different reads that other people have used, customized, and then chosen to republish to our site. If, instead of browsing, you wanted to pull resources specifically for a topic, such as the water cycle, you can find that concept directly using our search. You can find search at the top of any page, or if we go back to the home page, by using our basic search on our home page. Let's try this for the water cycle. When you pull up the results for the water cycle, you have the option to filter based on whatever branch you're looking at, such as biology, or even grades, or the type, such as a full concept page, various reads or textbook pages, simulations and plics, and so on. Here, if I clicked on the water cycle itself, it would bring me back to the concept page that we already looked at but I could jump directly back into our interactive, the read, maybe some lesson plans or activities that relate directly to that content. If you're a state that uses Common Core State Standards or Next Generation Science Standards, we've already done all of the work for you to correlate our concepts to those standards. To see what this looks like, you can start at the home page and click on the Standards Browser. You could choose Common Core Math or next generation science, and you'll see basically the same thing. So let's start with Common Core. You can see that it's broken up into middle school and high school topics, and they're matching strands. If I was teaching geometry, I could go into that branch and see the different standards for geometry, along with all of the concepts that CK12 has that relate to any particular standard. If you click on any concept, You'll see it will bring you to the concept page where you can find various resources such as a read, our interactive clicks, videos, and practice that go with the topic of, in this case, the distance between two points. For some educators, this correlation between Common Core or NGSS and our content is extremely important. Feel free to use this browser to help you find content to specifically address those standards. For those not using Common Core or Next Generation Science, you're still welcome to use this content and see how it best applies to your school and the scope and sequence you work with. If, instead of looking at a particular topic to help you teach that day or later that week, you want to look at a whole unit or a whole course, you can go to any branch page. If we're still looking at biology, we can scroll down on the home page and click on the biology branch in science. You'll notice that this page has all of the concepts for biology, and then there's also a tab that says Flexbook Textbooks. If we click on this tab, you'll see a number of different textbooks related to topics in biology. For our core content, you'll see more of a traditional CK12 textbook, such as the biology one, which includes lessons that can involve multiple concepts. These also include additional resources, such as a teacher's edition, and sometimes workbooks and quizzes and tests. You'll see books that include the word concepts in the title. For these books, we took those larger topics and broke them down into specific concepts that we then matched one-to-one -one with all of the resources on our site. In addition to the core original Flexbook and our concepts, you might see other levels of our textbooks. In this case, there's one that says CK12 Biology Advanced Concepts. Depending on the subject, you'll see variations that may include a basic version for students that might need extra support, or an honors or advanced concept that would be a more in-depth exploration of the concept. Finally, depending on the topic, you may see additional texts 
such as these in human biology. Let's give you an idea of where these different books came from. CK12 gets its content in two major ways. Our CETA content was developed in-house with authors, domain experts, and reviewers, while our donated content came from credible sources such as Stanford, MIT, and NASA, to name a few. The flexbooks that CK12 created went through a rigorous process that included competitive analysis, development of a scope and sequence, creation of the manuscripts by domain experts and authors, a peer review, and technical and copy edits. These books were developed around state and national standards, as well as the National Science Education Standards, the American Association for the Advancement of Science Project 2016 Benchmarks, McRell, an aggregator of standards, and the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. They have also been correlated to the Common Core State Standards and the Next Generation Science Standards. If we look at this page for biology, you can see both the core content CK12 wrote and the human biology series. Let's open one of the human biology books. If you look at the details page for any of these books donated to CK12, you can see that the author for this book was the program in human biology at Stanford University. Since CK12 has a number of different books and options for you to use based on your goals, let's talk about filtering down a bit and seeing the books that are specifically targeted to what you want to teach. Let's look at the geometry page and the flexbooks that are associated with geometry. As you can see, right now we're looking at the flexbooks for middle school. If you were teaching high school, you could simply click on the orange geometry flexbook for high school option and it would bring up all of the books targeted towards high school. These include both our concept collection and our original flexbook, as you can see here and here, in addition to our geometry concepts book and the original version of our geometry flexbook. You'll see basic and even honors versions on this page. This will help address students that need a little bit more support or ones who want a more in-depth exploration of the content. In addition to the difference between books targeted for middle school and those for high school, you can filter the books that are shown based on the levels, in some cases basic, at grade, or advanced, or if we looked back at the middle school concepts, your basic or at grade, since the advanced versions would really be high school topics. You could also filter your concepts and your textbooks based on the language, in this case, English or Spanish. To find the Spanish books, if you're back in the All Languages option, you can simply scroll down on that page to the Spanish books listed for any branch. This gives you an overall idea of the content that CK12 has to offer in its flexbooks as well as its concepts. Beyond the core content that CK12 has created or has been donated specifically to us, CK12 also shows content that users have made and chosen to republish to our site. If you're looking for a particular topic, such as slope of a line, you can find user contributed content under the community contributed tab. You can also search for content back on our homepage by clicking on the schools icon. From here, you can pick your state, let's say Texas, and will display all of the content created from various schools within the state of Texas that has been republished. You'll see a variety of content from a single book for certain schools, all the way down to where you'll see multiple books, such as those from El Paso Independent School District, where they've decided to completely convert their content to CK12. El Paso has decided to go ahead and create their own English content and history content, which would be a great place for you to start if you were working outside the STEM branches. If you too want to create your own book, let's go back to the homepage and talk about where you could start. If you're looking to create your own flexbook, you don't have to start from scratch. CK12 has done so much work for you already that you can simply go in and find the book that is closely aligned to what you want to teach. 
Let's look at our algebra collections for our high school. You can choose any of these books, let's say Algebra 2 with Trig, see what concepts are covered within it, and then choose to customize it simply by clicking on the Customize option on the left side of your page. This will bring you to your table of contents for your book. From here, you can expand any of the chapters to see the specific concepts included. You can edit anywhere you see a little pencil icon, and you can even reorder content by dragging it up or down. You'll notice that when you reorder sections, the system will even renumber it for you. We're going to be talking more about this customization of content throughout the next few sessions. You'll notice that with some exceptions, the books created by CK12 are related to STEM content. If you can't find content to customize, either directly from CK12 or from users via our schools page or searching for a topic, or even if you want to start from scratch anyway, you can always choose to create your own book. To do this, go to your library and click on the option to create a new Flexbook textbook. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a title so that all of your work is saved within that new book. Once you've saved the title for your book, you can always go back in and edit it some more simply by clicking on the edit option on the left. At this point in time, you can add any content you want, either by searching CK12, writing a new modality, adding a new chapter, or even uploading from a Word file or a Google Doc. From within this table of contents, you can choose to search CK12 for content to add. Let's say you're writing a section on angular speed. Searching this will show you various concepts that you can add to your Flexbook textbook. You can simply click on any of these concepts and it will be added directly into your book. If you want to add more than one, go ahead back and search again, add it in, and then reorder your topics according to the order you wish to present them. If you were browsing content on CK12, let's say if you were looking at factoring a quadratic, you could filter this by reads and then pick any read. And if you like it, add it to your Flexbook textbook simply by clicking on the Add to Flexbook textbook on the left side of a page. At this point in time, you'll have the choice to create a new Flexbook textbook or add it to an existing one. For any modality you add, you'll find it at the bottom of your table of contents when you go back into your Flexbook. At that point in time, you can choose to reorder any section or chapter and put everything in the order in which you wish to teach it. We hope at this point in time, you've gained an understanding of the variety of resources CK12 has to offer and just how simple it is to add it to something that you're creating or to start with a book we've already made for you and simply click customize to make it tailored exactly to what you're looking for. Now we encourage you to just go explore, whether that is through browsing particular topics, customizing a flexbook, or jumping into our interactives and practice. We hope you will find something that will enhance your teaching. Know that throughout your exploration of CK12, you will be supported. You are welcome to contact us at jumpstart at ck12.org or our amazing support team at support at ck12.org. We're happy to answer any questions and direct you to the best resources to meet your needs. In addition to the staff at CK12, we encourage you to get involved in the Jumpstart Forum discussion, where you can meet other educators and share your experiences, questions, answers, and tips. If you want to learn more about others' experiences using CK12, scroll down to the bottom of any page and choose Success Stories to see how different districts have found solutions to their challenges by using CK12. We look forward to having you join us in future sessions and wish you happy exploring.